Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Welcome to LES Matters TV. On today's episode of LES Matters TV, I'm going to be discussing how to support healthy brain development in babies. Yes, today's discussion is going to be all about how to support healthy brain development in babies. Yes, I would like you to know that as adults, whether you're the parent, you're the guider or teachers of babies, it is your role to support healthy brain development in babies. And I'm going to be giving out a few tips in relation to how you could support healthy brain development in babies. All right, let's go. The first way you could support healthy brain development in babies is interact with babies. Yes, I'm going to let you know that in order for you to support healthy brain development in babies, you need to interact with babies okay so you need to interact and not just even interacting with babies you need to give babies the opportunity for them to interact with their surroundings yes it might sound funny you might be looking at it what is she on about is it possible for babies to interact with their surroundings yes it is possible for babies to interact with their surroundings so for instance if you carry the baby you're interacting with the baby you're singing songs you're singing nursery rhymes with the babies you show the babies around, okay? Let them be able to see, okay? Show them around. For instance, if you bring babies to the garden and show them, oh, leaves, look at the leaves, look at the surroundings. Can you hear the noise? Can you hear the sound of the car? You might be wondering, oh, it's going to be funny. Babies, they can't talk. So why will I interact with them? Why will I be telling them things around my environment? It is important for, for you to ensure air to brain development in babies. You need to interact with babies and also give room for babies to interact with their surroundings. How can you interact with the babies? Some of the ways you could interact with the babies is read stories for babies, sing songs, you know, go on a walk with them, nature walk, put them in your hand or you put them in the buggy and you sing songs, you move them around, you show them their environment, give babies the opportunity to interact with their environment, give them soft toys to be able to explore. That's also part of babies interacting with their environment. You give them soft toys. They're exploring. They're feeling the texture. And you also need to know that babies, anything you give to babies, they put it into their mouth. So you need to be mindful in relation to what you give to babies. It's important that baby interact with their environment. Yes, it's important that baby interact with things around them. Well, you need to be mindful of the things that you give to babies for them to interact. Okay, so the first way to go about ensuring healthy brain development in babies is interact with babies and also give room for babies to interact with their environment or second tip is while you're interacting with your baby you need to ensure you maintain eye contact this is important while interacting with babies ensure you maintain eye contact because to understand that when you maintain eye contact with babies it's going to help babies to develop proper eyesight yes it is important I would like to encourage you that when you're interacting with babies, please ensure that you maintain eye contact. It's not all about you interacting with the babies. You're not maintaining eye contact. You're doing something else. It's important when you're interacting with babies, ensure you maintain eye contact. This will help the baby to develop proper eyesight. You need to understand that the period from birth to age is a crucial period in the lives of the young children. This is the time young children, they are learning things, they are developing, they are evolving. Okay, so interacting with the babies, when you maintain eye contact, it's going to help the babies to develop a proper eyesight. So take note of this as well. Yeah. The third tip I'm going to give out today is when you're interacting with baby, ensure that you interact in a soft tone of voice. This is important. You need to be calm. When you're interacting with babies, you need to ensure soft tone of voice and you're calm. This will to imitate your voice, to imitate sound. Let's say if you're interacting with a baby, you're maintaining eye contact, you're doing blah, 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 la, la, la. You see the baby, as time goes on, the baby will make the sound. You need to also understand that babies will emulate what you do. And the things that you do, your sound that you make, babies will emulate it. So it is important when when you are interacting with babies, you ensure that you speak softly and in a calm tone of voice. It will help the babies to imitate your sound and your mouth movement. You know the babies, they watch your mouth. It's important when you speak to babies, you maintain soft tone of voice because you want the babies to emulate your sound. So the sound that you make, the way you talk, how are you today? Hello Toby, hello Jerry, you're a beautiful girl, you're the best boy. And you will see the baby, look at it. When you play with the babies, watch out. You see the baby, they will laugh. 
If you laugh at babies, they laugh back at you. So you're sending a signal. So for you to maintain a healthy brain development in the babies, you need to ensure that when you're speaking to them, ensure you speak to them in a soft tone of voice and you're calm about it. Because this will help the babies to emulate your voice and mouth movement. All right. So the last tip I'm going to give out today is when you're interacting with the babies, ensure that you interact with their toys as well. I will cite an instance. If you give a baby a teddy, the baby is playing with the teddy. You can say to the baby, oh, you touch the teddy. You're soft teddy. Lick it, your teddy. It's so soft, so fluffy. You know, you're interacting with the toy and you're also interacting with the babies as well. So when you're doing this, you're encouraging, you're promoting to interact with your environment, to interact with things around them. So I hope you've taken note of all the points that I've listed in relation to how you could ensure healthy brain development in babies. And like I said earlier, the period from back to eight is a crucial period. This is the time that young children, they are learning to develop. You know, this is the time that the brain will develop. This is the time they are learning to use words. This is the time they are learning to interact with people around them and many more. So your is to promote healthy brain development in children. Thank you so much for listening. Subscribe for more. Take care and mind yourselves for now. Bye.